everybody, welcome to another episode of Radio Free Neo Terra. I'm here with Christian. He's going to throw in his first game of Infinity with the O12. I'm excited. The Intergalactic Space Cops are going to take on the Tardry Army Corps in Frontline. Um, as we go through the basic rules for Chris, and we're going to basically be teaching how to do overlapping fields of fire, push forward, and play through the standard mission. So we're doing 200 points and a 300 to make the game nice and concise. One combat group, so it's limited insertion. We'll show you the table, show you the armies, and get this underway. Here's my 200 points of uh, Tactical Army Corps, sorry, Tardry Army Corps. Uh, we have uh, four Kazakhs, line Kazakhs, one's a paramedic, sorry, two are paramedics, one's an FO. Uh, there with his little, he's got his little radio calling in airstrikes. And then one normal, we have a veteran Kazakh here with a X-Visor, he's a paramedic. Um, we have a Spetsnaz HMG, we have a tank hunter with Chain of Command and the... Um, uh, ADHL, we have a tank hunter, uh, portable auto cannon, and then two Ermandinos with chain rifles, ready to go loot some booty. And here's 200 points of O12. So Christian's got a uh, Kappa, um, sorry, actually four Kappas. There are two forward observers and two normal Kappas, and then a Gamma with full auto and his sweet, sweet Fuhrbach. Um, we have a Gangbuster with a boarding shotgun, uh, who is also a. Um, uh, MSV-1 and Mimetism with Infiltration. Then there's a Delta Doctor with the Jump, a uh, Serious Hacker with the Serious Bot. And then of course a Dakini Tack Bot, which is awesome. The Tack Bot can be support wired by the Hacker to give him Marksmanship level two. And here's our table set up for Frontline. Three zones, each eight inches across outside the deployment. Um, so we have a Friendly Zone, which is worth one if you hold it with VPs at the end of the game. Central Zone, which is worth three or four if you hold it also with your Liaison Officer. And a Far Zone, it's worth four as well. So nine potentially at the table. We each have one classified objective. Um, and we have to nominate a Liaison Officer after deployment. So right now we're going to dice off with our Lieutenants to see who has deployment or in turn order. I fail completely. And Christian fails completely too, so we have to roll again. And I passed this time with 11. You've passed with a 1, so I win the roll. Win. I'm going to choose to go first, and then you get to choose deployment sides and deployment order. Uh, I'm going to choose that side. Okay, and then I will deploy, uh, I guess, first over there. And we're deployed. I've got an Ermandino's prone, my FO um, Kazakh, and my Vet Kazakh are over here. we got a camo marker that could be anything prone. Camo marker, camo marker, standing up. Another vet, uh, another Kazakh who's prone. This is the um, regular Kazakh. And then my two Kazakh paramedics up here with another camo marker, and my last Ermandino. My HVT is up here centrally, and then it's over to Christian's army. Should mention, this is my liaison officer over here as well, before I finish deploying. Deploying, deploy, we have a gangbuster up here, infiltrate to hold this front zone. And then we have your, um, who's this? Kappa. Kappa, hanging out at the back. Uh, this is one of the Kappas. Is this a Ford Observer no, or just a regular a one? Just regular one. Uh, another Kappa, is that a regular or a Ford Observer? Uh, that is a regular. Okay, and then we have your big G boy, the Gamma, uh, hanging out prone. We have your Liaison Officer Kappa up front there with another Kappa. And then we have the Dakini Tackbot with the uh, Sirius Hacker, ready to throw down some sweet, sweet uh, support wear. And then finally the Sirius Bot hanging with the HVT. Round one. Uh, eight orders in the order pool, two regulars on my Armandinos, and I gotta use some impetuouses. And we'll start over here. So the closest trooper I think is gonna be the Kappa, or the, the Sirius Bot over there. And he's gonna come charge around the corner saying, I wanna steal that. So we're gonna run up four around the oh. corner. And first short skill, I don't think anyone can see me because I think you're behind the walls there for everybody else. And that's gonna be second short skill, we'll run again. Just keep using the movement. Not gonna worry about any smoke. And head to there. That's his impetuous done. He's no longer prone because he's an idiot and ran, <laughs> ran over the wall. And then my other Armandino over here, I think it's probably this um, gangbuster who's closest. He's gonna say, I like your sunglasses. <laughs> run towards you, going four. And then we'll just keep going for it. I have to take the least possible orders to move towards him, so we'll head towards the stairwell. And he has finished his impetuous. All right, so now we're into the regular order pool and the irregulars. I think we're just going to get these Irmandinos out of the wind to start off with, because we don't want to die. Uh, and so we're going to hop over this wall eight to here, try and stay in line of sight of that serious bot. Yeah, let's go over here. So not eight, uh, four rather. Go to there, and then as a second half of our short skill, because I don't think anyone can see us, we're going to throw a smoke grenade. Mandinos are surprisingly physical. Uh, they have a fizz of 14, so we're going to try and put the smoke grenade right there, which should be well within eight. And yes, it is. So that's going to be on a 17 or less. We'll get it. We do with a 16. Corridor is now nicely smoked, and his irregular is done. Next irregular order, we're going to hop up right here, because it's lower than our profile, which will be about an inch and a half away, and then we'll have uh, two and a half inches to go. Line up here with our short skill. 
And then as our second short skill, we are going to throw a smoke grenade and we'll throw it just right there. That's 17 again. There we go. This is a regular all finished. And see, Ermandinos are done and we're into the regular order pool of eight orders. I don't think I'm going to be killing anything this turn because you're prone. So I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to start coordinating some movement. Now, I can only coordinate between same training levels. The Ermadinos would have to coordinate with themselves and the rest of the army would have to coordinate with itself because I can't do regulars and irregulars mixed. But I'm going to spend a command token and I'm going to spend a uh, regular order. I'm going to pick the Vet Kazakh, this FO Kazakh, and then I think... This, uh, uh, I don't really want to move anybody else. I really don't want to move my surprise. Uh, I'm, gonna move, I'm gonna move one of these guys. This guy's gonna move and this is gonna disappear. Poof. And I guess we'll move her as well. We're gonna make a first mo short movement skill. He's gonna head four, rushing to this other cover. The uh, four observer is gonna go three and then one around the corner here, safely behind the smoke. Just gonna hurdle this uh, lip because it's lower than our profile for her for basically one. And then three more down the, the ledge, getting up from prone. It wasn't this one, it was this one. <laughs> Grab the wrong Kazakh. Same thing, just gonna go four, standing up. And head to here. This cow marker reveals itself to be the real one and is gonna start moving as well. And we'll come around four to the edge to here. So those are all my first short skills of the four of them. I don't think anyone has line of fire, so we're just going to jump into the second set of short skills. And we'll move again and get ourselves up. We're going to get ourselves up. We're going to get ourselves moving forward with this camel marker. And then she's actually going to drop to prone and only move two inches so that she can be prone. Oops, prone on a ledge. There we go. And that way gain some cover. And second verse, same as the first, we're going to send a second command token and a second order to do the exact same thing again because I don't want these folks standing in the wind. Uh, we are going to go four inches with this Kazakh to here. The Vet Kazakh is going to go four inches up the stairs. Stay in line of fire. This cam marker is going to go just hurtling this basically an inch and a half and then come to the top here and just stay in line of sight of this serious spot. She'll crawl too, just moving forward. And that's my first movement. I don't think again anyone can see me right now, so we'll just go again. He's going to snuggle up in this corner, be happy to party. Uh, Mr. Vet Kazakh is just going to come to the top stealth, but not look too far over. I don't want to be able to be on the very top so that I can avoid anybody that is too tall. Can you crawl into the edge here? And then this camo marker is just going to, I think, idle because I don't want to give a spotting opportunity to the serious bot. We're all feeling pretty good right now. So, six or sorry, third order, and then my third command token because I'm getting cheeky with the command tokens now. We're going to throw down some suppression. Suppress with the Vet Kazakh. We're going to suppress with this FO and we're going to suppress with this line Kazakh up here. Those are my first three orders and three of my command tokens, just crushing out command tokens right now. Um, but we've got the, the bulk of the force moved up with uh, coordinated orders and I'm feeling pretty good. So now what we're going to do, give a regular order to this cow marker. It's going to slide over to see your serious bot. Gun. Uh, you could dodge, or you could shoot me with your riot stopper, but I think your riot stopper is just a flamethrower. Rested butt's probably going to be to dodge. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay. You're going to delay. I'm going to reveal myself to be a Spetsnaz uh, heavy machine gun, and we're going to give you the bullets, and you're going to try and dodge. So, the great thing about the Spetsnaz is he is just naturally uh, multi or smart friendship level 2. He's a really good shot with his high caliber gun, um, and so he's going to ignore your cover. Uh, if you had it, which you don't in this case anyway. Um, he's going to be bliss skill 12, plus 3 for range, so I'm on 15s. You are dodging it. Whatever your fizz is, minus 3 because you're a remote. I 7 do. it is! Just roll a crit! <laughs> nah, not quite. Um, I got a crit though, and then two more hits. So you're gonna go unconscious and make two more armor rolls against damage 15. Nope. So 6 will fail, 
And 16 passes, you're actually not dead because you have two levels of unconscious due to being a remote. Well, he's pretty happy where he is now. So he's gonna spend a second order because no one can see him and he's also gonna go on suppression. Order's left. Uh, I think we're gonna go on adventure with the Ermandino because I think it's hilarious. So he's gonna make a move. I'm gonna give him a regular order. I'm gonna try and stab a guy with a knife. Ah. No, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna stab a dude with a knife. So I'm gonna walk four around the corner to here. And then be in the smoke. And then air a second skill. I'm just gonna stand in this edge of the smoke so you can't see me. In the last order, we're just gonna jump over. <laughs> Hi why can't she ARO him? Right so she there? can't. She can now. If I'm still touching the smoke, I stand. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not moment, line of fire. Yeah, moment, she can make an arrow for sure when I come out. Yeah, okay. So both these folks can make an arrow. I'm going to end in melee with you. Yep. So my options right now are: I could shoot you with my chain rifle on the way in. I could stab you in close combat, and you can do any of your available options. So you can shoot me with a shotgun. You could try and fight me in melee. Your shotgun shot's going to be better, obviously. And she can definitely shoot me on the way in as well. So oh. one boring shotgun to the face. Uh, and morning then, shotgun first. Let's do. Let's well, do so I have first. to declare my reaction yeah. now. So I could melee you. It would be face to face with the boarding shotgun. Um, I'm actually close combat twenty, <gasps> which is fairly hilarious because yes. because I'm I'm a, I'm a stabby like You're smuggler. A Navy Seal. I'm a Navy Seal. That's right. Um, or my other option is I can throw a smoke grenade and it would oppose everything on the way in, yeah. and then we'd have to fight in the smoke. I'm doing that on a 17. I'm kind of tempted to do that just to like make myself safe for this sounds, afterwards. Sounds fair. But you're throwing, what is it? You're, what's your, what's your BS with them? 12? 13. 13. So you're a 19 to my 17 then. It just comes down to who rolls the better die. I'm try and throw the smoke grenade and oppose both as opposed to just posing one. So we'll put the smoke grenade right at my feet and try and just poof everything. So do your shotgun first. 19. Critical. You criticaled me. I have to roll 17. I can't do anything with that. I rolled a 1. <laughs> so, yeah, so I get my head blown off on the way in, and then does the combat rifle finish me off? You beat a 1. No. Nope. You do with a 4. All right, so um, you were at 0 range there, coming to cover, so yep. I have to make an armor roll. And I'm not just a little bit dead, I am in pieces. This was a terrible plan. Not unconscious, he's in like several pieces at this point. So that was a terrible plan. I have two orders left to make a better plan. Um, I think my better plan is just going to be to try and get him out of the wind. And that means move up. Ah, I should have just stabbed you. <laughs> and go over here. Uh, and then he's going to be camped out. And then one order left. Does anyone else want to move? Yeah, we're just going to move this fella up. And he's just going to move, move, uh, crawling four. And I don't have anyone line of sight there, so I should be okay. That's my round one. So it's round 112. Smoke comes off. And let's do order count. Nine regular orders, because the serious bot doesn't do anything, and it's who wants to go first? First order, I'm gonna put some support wear on Mr. Daikini Tackbot, so he is now a support wear. Second order, uh, he's going to step out to about there. Just making sure he's outside of 16. Uh, Come see Mr. Spetsnaz, yeah, looks good. This thing is, I'm gonna incur penalties just for being in suppression, so if you're outside 16, you'll be at plus three. I'll be at minus three to hit, which I'm sure you are. Yep. Yep. You're going to ignore my cover, but you won't ignore my suppression or my camo. So you'll be at plus three, minus six, putting it minus three overall. I'll be at minus three. I think you have mimetism. I'm at minus six for your mimetism, uh, which means I'm going to be on sixes. So I'm going to get two di three dice on sixes, and you're going to have four dice on whatever eight. your BS is, minus three. So eight. eight. Four dice on eights to my two dice on sixes. And you got a six and a five. I got a four and a seven. So my seven's actually gonna cancel your six and your everything else is gonna cancel my four. So I hit you once with my HMG. One armor roll against a 15. And you're gonna go unconscious. It's an excellent plan, but sadly it left him unconscious. So uh, next plan. Gonna go down the stairs with the big boy. Yep. Uh, and try so and he's just going to pick him out. He's prone and mm -hmm. he's gonna stay prone. Yep, for the first skill, obviously, just move twice. Uh, the second skill, outer line of fire, he's gonna stand up and go to the bottom of the stairs. And now he'll be able to duck up and duck down and see the Vet Kazak. So now you're gonna duck in and duck out, going up the stairs and back down second to move. get line of fire against my Vet Kazak. And I am going to shoot you with my Type 2 rifle. Suppressing, which means up to 24, normally I'm at minus 3 to hit, but my X visor cancels that minus 3, so I'm at zero range. And then I'll be minus three for your cover, because you're behind that wall. Don't ignore your full auto, though, so I'm going to be on sevens overall. And then you're going to have three shots at plus three, minus three for suppression, minus three for mimetism, and minus three for cover. So plus three, minus six. So whatever your BS is, minus six. Sevens to sevens, and you've got three dice, and I've got three dice. Sevens! Uh, no. I on all. Uh-oh. And I also miss on all of them. It's a wash. Repeat it. Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. Another order. Come back up. I'll do the same thing. Seven, seven, you got a six. Oh, it's gonna be hard. 
Nope, you cancel both my hits. So you hit me once at APDA with the Fearbok. So my armor is normally four, halves to two, um, and then a plus three for my, uh, my whatchamacallit, my cover. cover. So that's going to be five against the damage 15 Fearbok. Is it 15 or 14? I think it's 15. 16 it is. All right, so 16 plus five. I got to roll 12s twice. I roll a seven and a 10, and I go to new one cap, and then dead, this guy gets exploded. The anti-tank round turns him into red mist. Well, that's one of my suppression pieces down, uh, and Mr. Fearbok is now happy, so he's got free reign basically to come back and talk to Mr. Spetsnaz if he wants to, but that's uh, that's another fight. Back Mr. Fearbok, gonna do a move crawl and get back in his original position, and out of line of fire. Or he's gonna stand up and look at Mr. HMG. All right, well, hey. So I do have this guy too who can do something, but he's just gonna idle his ARO. He doesn't wanna break his camo. And we're just gonna start shooting you. I actually don't think I can see you with her because she's prone. No, she won't be able to see over this lip right here. Um, so it's just gonna be him and he'll suppress you with his HMG. Side 16, so good range for you, bad range for me. So I'll be at minus three for that, minus three for your full auto, minus three for your cover. So I'm at minus nine, I want threes with three dice. And then you're gonna have three dice at plus three, minus my suppression, minus my camo, minus my cover. So plus three, minus nine, minus six overall. Minus six will get me sevens. Three so dice sevens five. to my threes. This is like the battle of the bad shots. Uh, five hits. Ah, crit! <laughs> I got a three, so you take a wound. Um, you got two wounds though, so you're okay. You just take one and you gotta make a guts chest unless you have courage. I think you might have courage. Check it is. He laughs crits. That was unlikely. <laughs> we can go again if you want. It's time, save one more order for the, the backup plan. And it's again, threes to sevens. Uh, no, and I got hit with a two. All right, so you make your armor roll, now you're six plus three. Yeah, you laugh at me and don't care, but you have to make a guts check on a 13. I pass. Last order, we're gonna do it again. Here it comes. What you got? Give me those sevens. Uh, one will hit. Do I roll I that three can, again? I think you can beat that. Nope, you hit me. All right, so AP plus DA. So my armor is, I think, two goes to one. Plus three for cover, so I'm armor four. I gotta roll a 13 twice. I'm unconscious, not dead. I am right in the Kazakh, and that was your last order. All right, new order count. I am down two orders, which means I'll have six regular orders and one irregular impetuous for my one surviving Ermandino who didn't get obliterated by a shotgun. Okay, plans. All right, stick to it, Ash. You can you can pull something out here. Let's figure something out. Uh, well, let's start with... I think we have to go rescue this guy. <laughs> the problem is you are currently standing up with that Fearbok and... Oh, he, why'd he go prone? He passed his guts check. I misunderstood something yeah, yeah. you said. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, he, he yeah. I mean, he could go prone and then shoot me. No, if he I thought to. you told me to go to prone. Oh, you can, I, I, I would, that's fine. But if you want to overwatch, I don't have any hitting pieces left, so there's not a lot of, like, things I can do here. I think it's time to get sneaky, though. So we're going to start with this little guy. And he's going to stand up, Mr. Fearbok, and he's going to move. And just go four over here, and you can make an arrow. You could either delay, or you could try and discover. Why would I not discover? I don't know. You can shoot me if I do something. No. Delay. Uh, I'm going to move four. And we'll just hang out instead. Still see me though. So I'm going to give another one. And we're just going to walk again. Discover. You're gonna, okay, you're going to discover the second part of this one. Okay, we're going to move into cover. Uh, and I think I'm going to shoot you. That's going to be my uh, that's gonna be my tank hunter with the ADHL. And I thought it was good to 24, but it's not. So I'm going to shoot you with... I guess my AP rifle. It's out of 16, so you're gonna be, uh, and I'm surprise shot at you. So you're gonna be minus three for surprise shot, minus three for camo. I'm moving into cover though, so you don't get the, I don't get the cover bonus. Um, and that'll make me minus six. And then you'll be plus three for your fear box, so you're, whatever your BS is, minus three. I'm gonna be shooting at minus three for range, minus three for full auto, minus three for cover, so I'm gonna be hitting on sixes. Sevens to sixes. <laughs> All right, show me some 11s. The big dice. Mm, so you crit me and then hit me another time. And do I roll good? Nope. <laughs> so I take a crit and I get wounded. The other hit kills me. Directly to dead. Didn't want to have to do this, but we're going to activate this guy now. And he's just going to do his thing, I guess. Uh, and his thing is going to be to slide up to here so that we can see Big Mr. Man. Would you like to discover or delay? Delay. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to delay. Uh, we're going to reveal ourselves to be a portable auto cannon, and we're going to shoot you. <laughs> you brought a big gun, I brought a big gun too! <laughs> we should open with this. Um, so I'm uh, up to, get up to 36, so I'm, or sorry, 32, so I'm in uh, plus three range. You're also in plus, plus three, three range. Uh, we've got um, 
minus three for my surprise, minus three for my camo, minus three for my cover, so I'm minus nine. You'll be plus three though, so you're minus six overall, putting you on eights. I'll be at plus three, minus three, minus three, so I'm at minus three overall, putting me at nines. So Fair. You got you got your two dice? Is this ARO? Is this two dice? It's oh. only two dice, yeah. Take that. Uh, the nine will hit. Oh, sorry, no, it's an eight to hit, actually, because you're minus six and you're 14, right? That is correct. All right, so you're at eights to hit, so that misses, and I get you once with the one. That's gonna be three explosive rounds. Yeah. Uh, at damage 15 AP. So whatever your armor is, three goes to six for cover, and you gotta roll tens three times. I need tens. To, tens. Yeah, you roll 16 total. Uh, pass, fail, fail, so he's gonna go unconscious, dead. Oh. Two orders left. Ugh, it's gone bad. So no wound, just take him off. Yeah, he just comes off. All right, well, we're gonna go Mr. Paramedic then, or Ms. Paramedic with our next order. And she is going to just do a long skill climb and go down to the bottom of this for a whole order. And then last order, she's gonna move, move, just stay on a line of fire, heading over to here. And that's my turn. I just completely realized that wasn't turn because this guy needed to do his um, impetuous movement, which would have just put him over here because there's nobody in line of fire. And then his irregular order he could still use. He's actually just going to, I think, move back where he was. Just gonna go back to here and stay. Just wants to hide out and not participate right now because he's in his own. Sarah, we'll just make completely. that right now. Yeah, with your cap on? Yeah. Do it. So um, you're at minus three for range, minus three for camo, minus three for cover. So minus nine overall. So whatever your BS is, minus 13 nine. 13 minus nine. Force. Force. One die. One die. Take that. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, no missed opportunities wasted. Your FO's gonna move. No, remember, you can see me right now because you took that ARO. Not so. Oh, the this back one, one isn't okay. So yeah. This one, this one, is going to go prone. Okay. In such a way as to avoid crossing sure. the line of sight. Sounds good. And if you if you go prone and end your move behind that uh, wall, then yeah. yeah, as a cautious movement, you'd be fine. Um. So she goes prone and ends there. Yep. And the whole point of this move. I know, I know I don't actually lie her down, but prone markers don't do it for me. Okay, that's fair. She's gonna have her over here. Yes. Yeah. So that's gonna be two orders to do that. The first one will get you to the edge, and the second one will get you to the, the corner here, and then there's now you can two, do your FOs. There's my two orders. Perfect. My point being that that's a victory point, and I might as well go for it. Yeah, you might as well do your, try and get your classified. So you can now see my uh, my HVT, and that means you're just looking at getting your whip test. So, take that. I two, two dice, two dice to fort observe. Yeah, one more. One dice in your arms. You got it. So you got you scored your classified and you scored objective point. Smart your, scatter so your, your own order. Um, you've got uh, one basically like uh, arrival order here, and you can make now you have a choice before you place her down because she's not using an order. She's using your own order. Oh. You could use a support with your hacker to support her jump to give her plus three to her physical stat. Oh, cool. So spend so, one to assist the so, jump. She right. calls in the coordinates. Right. And now you're gonna get plus three to your physical test to try and, and do she this. doesn't have to roll because it's no, it's an automatic. It's a support. Okay. Yep. Done. And then whatever her fizz is, plus three, she'll arrive right here on her own order. Dean crushes it with a two, and now you're right here with three orders left in your order pool to come start bringing Dr. Shotgun to town. Four-inch walk will put you right on the edge, right next to him. And, and we are danger close. Now you're inside my zone of control, which means I can change facing as a dodge at minus three, but you have a boarding shotgun, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Um, which you could split your burst in between both these guys or just try and really kill one right now. Now, normally your template would allow you to uh, fire a blast that would hit Sorry, both. Sorry, that's why I lined it up like, I thought it was a template. The, the problem is that because he's prone, it's gonna go directly into the box and not hit him. But he's gonna die. Uh, you're at plus six against the Kazakh. <laughs> so, 18? 19? Oh. 18 with AP. Take that. Oh my god, do I dodge? I don't. No, I do at minus three, I crit. So I turn around, but that's all I get to do. Uh, and then over here against him, you'll be at just one will hit, and I fail my dodge. So I don't turn around, and you hit me in the back. I'm AP, so I'm gonna drop down to armor two. It's damage 14, because it's a boarding shotgun. So I need to roll a, th a 13 to not die. Nope, I'm unconscious. So you're gonna shoot again, so this is your second to last order. Sorry, where did, where's my pile? I don't think you didn't put them down. You're on 18s again. I'm yep. gonna shoot you with my rifle. I'm at zero, so I'm on 11s. Dear 18. Uh, that's a crit, so I'm unconscious at a nine. And you beat me with both, so I'm not dead, but I'm also bleeding death on the floor unconscious. I'm gonna do no harm, doctor. <laughs> Last order, she's gonna get somewhere snuggly and warm and prone, probably. So, first move, 
really, I can go prone right there, right? Sure, yeah. And watch the stairs on the and side. And watch the stairs. Yeah, so be like this. So I'm be hop prone. away. You got it. That's so round three. I, I, I don't have a lot of orders left. <laughs> okay, well, that's gonna do it. Um, I just lost uh, 46 points of, of army left. So I've got uh, nine plus 12 is 21 plus 11 is 32 plus 8 is 40 i am below my retreat threshold which means everybody's going to go into lost lieutenant slash can't advance and basically my order just skips to my turn just skips to you i can't really do anything i don't want to break suppression they can't run forward you're stuck yeah just gonna go to you seven orders on the board now with your doctor shotgun showing up <laughs> it's just gonna be your final turn as you sneak around and try and push into the zones there's on your liaison officer just gonna get him in the middle so he's going 10 right yeah uh total of four. six and then four he's four four i'm pretty sure four four yeah so eight okay so, so h gets you around to there yeah we'll just and if you want to do a second order you can go snuggle up in that corner absolutely do Take it order to hop up on the roof with the gangbuster. And then he's gonna go, really, he's gonna go all the way down to the stairwell if you can. Yeah. yeah. So you can go eight total and just hop back down. Arrows, can nobody can see. Everybody's prone. Um, and then what does the doc want to do? Because you could probably just boogie your buns into the zone and take it. Hop down with the doc, going go six to the all, bottom stair. All the way to the bottom of the stairs yep. for one. And then she can hop out of my deployment zone, probably into the scoring zone for another one. And if you got to when you get to there, well, you might as well just spend the last one and come around the yeah. corner. Uh, so that's going to cost me another Three. one. Yeah, and she'll end up over here. Yep. Her left, and I'm uh, pretty and sure her. she's in a zone right now, and she's probably more points than he is. Um, so it comes down to, are you sure that you've moved out of your deployment zone to be in the first zone? To the hacker. Uh, and she can't jump this because nope, it's higher it's than the her same head. As her height, yep. So she actually has to run around the outside. No, oh, she's not going to make anywhere. Oh, she might make it to here. She's going to make it to... your deployment zone. To, oh, she's 4-4, four, four, right? Yeah, she's 4-4. Four, four. So, like there. There. She's going to make it to there. Cool. It's the best she can do. And, and then... Not uh, hugging cover, which may be stupid. <laughs> I don't... Well, I don't have a turn after this, so it doesn't matter. Um, and that's going to be round, and that means you're going to have your... Gangbuster plus, I think, well, I think he's actually just your doctor in this zone. How many points is your doctor? Your drop troop? Uh, my drop troop delta is 25. So she's 25. These two together are only 23. So you're going to hold my far zone for four. Um, you've got the gangbuster in the middle zone, with who's definitely with, with the forward observer, who's more than eight. And who's also the, the liaison. The so liaison. that's worth four for eight. And then yeah. you hold your own zone for one, which puts you at nine. Plus you got HVT designation for 10. And I got zero. So 10 nothing for the O12. So there we go, into the game, the O12 taken at home. Man, that was a bloody middle scrum, but Dr. Shotgun took it home and finished off my- uh... I learned it all from you. <laughs> I, the Hippocratic Oath was betrayed, and the police just started murdering people with shotguns at the end of it all. It got very assault on Precinct 13 at the end. You told and me uh, too. I know, I know, but the Russian mob did not kill Denzel Washington at the end of that one. Denzel Washington killed the Russian mob. So, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you for more Radio Free Neo Terror in the future. Next time, Ash is Christian. Don't worry, man. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Um, uh, big thanks to everyone past future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.